I love it when a cool hot rod shows up at my work, and this is a perfect example. This is a little 31 Ford Model A Coupe. This thing's got a killer stance, got a cool chop top. Turns out it's chopped five and a half inches. And along with that, he also changed the windshield frame, laid back the windshield just a little bit. Uh, but underneath is a 32 Ford frame. He built the suspension on this thing from front to back. It's got a drop front axle with split wishbones, and it has these cool little coil springs. And he said it didn't ride all that good, but it still looks cool, and they're tucked in there real nice. So maybe if he finds the right spring rate, it'll help that. But just a lot of cool details on this car, and a lot of details that aren't necessarily just bought out of a parts catalog. So when you look under the hood, it's got a 351 Cleveland, which is a, a pretty unique choice for a street rod or something, you know, a traditional hot rod. Uh, but you can see it's got a two-barrel carburetor on it. You can see some of the details here. It's got power brakes, a dual master cylinder that came out of something modern. And then uh, it also has rack and pinion steering, which was not a thing on a straight axle car like this. Uh, but he adapted it from, I believe he said, a Toyota Camry. So he cut it down, made it all work with the original steering linkage. And uh, also when you look inside, you'll see that he has a swing-away steering column which was not factory in this thing, but it helps get in and out a lot easier because these cars, even with this little thin seat that he's got in here, another little late model item, these cars are hard to get in and out of. So he's done a lot of other stuff to make this thing a little more comfortable out on the road. And that brings me to probably my favorite part of this whole car's story is the fact that this guy, Albert, is from North Carolina and he stopped in on his way back from Austin, Texas. He had actually been out to the Lone Star Roundup, a big traditional hot rod show out there in Austin, Texas. And he was on his way back to North Carolina and decided to stop in at Coker Tire and then also Honest Charlie and the Coker Museum. So it gave me a chance to see this car. And another cool aspect of it is that he's pulling a vintage small travel trailer. Now this thing, I don't know if it's a store-bought piece that he's modified or if this is a fully custom-built piece, but you can see it's got some cool 40s style fenders on it. It's got a moon disc on one side. It looks like he may have lost it on the other side, but just some really cool details, including some cool vintage tail lights with blue dots. Uh, this thing is just too cool and it looks perfect behind that chopped Model A coupe. 